Hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dee Blair Gold and you are at Dee Blair Gold Writes where you can find me on my author journey, writing tips, motivation, and lifestyle hacks for the mature woman. I am going to start Camp NaNoWriMo. I'll put down in the description box my prior video so you can see my project that I'm going to be working on. Today is Thursday, July 2nd. Camp NaNoWriMo started yesterday. I ended up going to bingo, you guys. My eldest daughter said, Mom, come on, let's go, it's open. We went, we had a great time, and we were gonna go back in the PM. And between that time of coming home, our governor shut down lots of businesses again, and that was one of them. In today's video, I'm going to get prepared. Every day I'm gonna to try to do at least six hours like with the break with lunch and a couple of breaks in between for the next 29 days. So let us get started. Some of the items that I'll need, of course, I'll need my laptop, my series Bible, my business planner. I need plenty of post-its, markers, highlighters. Normally just use the markers as highlighters. Save the Cat writes a novel. And these are just appointment stickers I can use to put on the calendar. I have some water and I have my music and the computer. I want to show you guys this closet. I got this idea from a YouTuber and her channel is called Hearts Breathings and she had a blank space as the wall be once she walk into her home. She had her husband cover it with paper and she's going to use it as a storyboard. I said, wow, that's a great idea. I could do the same. I'm not even going to bother about covering it and I could use these small post-its, three by five uh, index cards. See, I can use this whole closet. And then I could just turn around here, sit on my bed if I need to, and work on it, look at it. I need to be able to see the big pictures. I think that'd be easier for me. That's what I'm gonna work on this week. Organizing it, structure, just putting everything down. After I get everything down and I think I have the story the way I want it to go, then I'll start typing everything out so it'll, I'll be able to print it. I'm gonna start and I'll let you see my progress as I go along the way. I have to run out to the store and get some more three by five cards, some posty notes with different colors. I need a long three ring binder, hole puncher, get one single puncher, and transparent tape. I'm gonna go inside the Dollar Tree. I know I'm shame they ran me up out of there. I was trying to get a cart and the lady was like, you have your mask? So I had to come back out to the car and get it. I had a mask inside of my purse, but I couldn't find it quick enough. I'll be going back inside. I got these cute, these nice highlighters. I got some more of these dividers to go inside of my series Bible some paper clips and then I got this clear tape. I hope I have the dispenser already at home. I got four of these. They, and these are so cool. Aren't they some pretty erasers? I, oh, after I did that, then I had a little family prayer with my family. I got this cup and then I got a free sandwich. All right, you guys, so I'm on my way home. I'm not going to do too much more tonight. It's already 8, 10 p.m. I might fill out my calendar for the rest of the month. So I'll be back with you guys tomorrow. Okay, today is Friday. I was up at 7.30 a.m. and I was doing a bunch of other things on social media. I did do the calendar. This is for the whole month of July. So it says Cap NaNoWriMo 2020. And I just put in the dates here. Of course, Sundays I have 10 a.m. to 11.30 church. So I put that for all the Sundays. On Sundays, I'll start at one. Mondays, I won't be doing any of my project work. I have to do my thumbnails, descriptions, and edit for YouTube. If I need to, I can probably squeeze something I don't burn myself out. Over here, I post the videos on Tuesday. The first week, I intend on organizing, and then the second week, I will work on self-editing, grammar editing, it's going to be more to this also because I still have to develop some more characters. The 31st, this is the day I'm shooting for, but I know my last video will be on the 28th. That hopefully that I can have it done 
print out or order a cable piece, copy, nano, slime on wrap up and hopefully that'll be posted here. We'll see. Now it's 1 p.m. I'm going to work on this project. Take time and really focus. I'll be checking in like every two, three hours. See you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I'm back. Right now it is like 6.30 p.m. I ended up doing a little bit of procrastinating. This is what I've done so far. Let me show you. Oh, up here I have the chapter summary. This is all for this book, BBBL1. Uh, this, on the back of here, I have the synopsis of the book, of the entire book. So that's going to help guide me. And then here for each chapter, for each chapter, I'll put the chapter summaries in here. And right now, I just have it numbered down to 11. I don't know how many chapters it's going to be. Here, I'm just going to use sticky notes to help me write the scenes in the different act. That's pretty much the farthest I've gotten. Right now, I'm very hungry. I am going to run out and find myself something to eat. Tonight, I'll probably be up a few hours. I'm going to attempt to work on that website. Boy, I had forgotten about once I started this month that I still had to do that website. So guys, I will see you tomorrow on Saturday. Hi you guys, happy July 4th. Right now it is about 7, 15 p.m. I just wanted to let you guys know I didn't get a lot of work done today, but I did stay up last night, like 1 a.m. It took me a couple of hours working on a mock-up for my book cover. And this is just a placeholder, something that I could just display on the website so it wouldn't just be an empty space. It might look a little funky, but the book cover that I will be making, it may or may not look anything like that. And last night I did start thinking about the chapters more in the book. I did write down on index cards and I started fleshing out the chapters more. So this is going to be a long haul. Right now I'm down here. I ended up barbecuing. Earlier I went to like three stores looking for charcoal. It's all good though. I, if I don't pop on again tonight, I will see you tomorrow. Hi guys. I'm just now popping on. Um, I just wanted to come on and let you guys know what was going on. It is 11.21 p.m. on Sunday, July 5th. I didn't work a lot on the project today, but I ended up filming how to make a book cover mock holder, whatever you call it. So I have a total of two now, so that's good. I made the mock-up book cover with Canva. I'm having some issues here. This is the issues I'm having. I bought this thing about a month ago. I used that USB drive I ordered from Amazon. I went to use it in the little spring, on the little white part that you saw that popped off, popped across the room. <laughs> and right now, I don't even know if I'm using it correctly. I've used these before. You just stick it in the USB port. And I wanted to, tr I needed to transfer all of my videos and pictures off of my iPhone. I had almost 5,000 pictures and almost 500 videos. I wanted to transfer those off because I was filming earlier today and I thought I was filming. I filmed like two minutes and I actually was on there for like 30 minutes. Now the computer is giving me the message saying I needed a cold seat. I don't even know what that is. And then all, I thought once you do that, all the pictures will come off the phone. The pictures are still there. I guess now I have to go back and delete all the pictures. I'm, anyway, I have to make sure this thing is working properly first before I delete any pictures. So right now I'm stuck and I can't even record anything or do anything because I still have all the pictures on my iPhone and I'm not sure if this USB drive is working correctly. Anyway. Hi guys. Today it is Monday, July 6th. It is 3.59 p.m. I said I probably wouldn't be coming on on Mondays, but I had to let you guys know what is going on. First of all, I have to say I'm like majorly boned. It's the 7th. There will be no website launch. I messed up. That is what, first of all, you get for procrastinating. <laughs> I didn't read the fine print and I'm shocked myself because I always that person to read the fine print. But uh, free is not free, okay? So I did a couple of things on the website and it 
pretty much seemed pretty easy. And I started reading and I said, oh, okay. So I said, well, maybe I could just do it and then it'll be good for a couple of months. Nope, you have to pay for the year. Anywho, so I had my little credit card out and my credit card was like, you want me to do what? <laughs> Long story short, I have to put that on hold. I have to get back to my place of employment. Hello, you guys all know how it is right now. Yes, it's, and I couldn't do it because of what I wanted to do. I didn't you know have it all together to do it right then is because I need I wanted to be polished my car was like no <laughs> not today when I do get ready to do the website I'm not even going to deal with it myself even though it did look pretty easy it looked as easy as Canva was but I looked at the prices that you need to pay to do it yourself and I saw a couple of YouTubers that can make them for you for about the same price or less so and they are professionals and they've done them before that's the route i'm going to go so just bear with me it's still coming i'll keep you posted between that and dealing with this flash drive honey right here this one i think i don't know how you pronounce it i think it's ann young so and this is supposed to be designed for android and iso bummer major bummer you know but hey that's where we're at right now. In the meantime, like I said, I did make the two uh, book mock holders. I'm going to post those on Twitter. You guys can go over to D Blair Go and vote for which one I should use as my mock cover. I had to give you guys some, you know, uh, if you guys could help me out in that area, that'd be great. I just have to keep pushing forward. I'm working it out. So you guys just hang in there with me. I appreciate you guys being here. That's all I have for you today. I will see you guys in my next video from a bummed out D. Later Gators.